impeachment. Uh, I'm one of the co-founders of Americans for Impeachment, and starting on Memorial Day 2019, uh, I, along with a few other small activists, um, started a journey. And uh, I didn't know it would get this far. Um, but I gotta tell you, it has been an amazing, amazing ride. Um, I wanted to record this video uh, so that some of you understand why I've been pushing for the impeachment of President Trump. It's not that I hate President Trump. I don't. Um, in fact, when he was rushed to NIH the other day, I, I actually had a moment um, because my president was having a medical emergency, or at least I was doing And being the guy who founded, or one, was one of the co-founders, Americans for impeachment, I, I wasn't really expecting to have that sort of reaction, but I did. Um, it's not about hate. President Trump has done a whole bunch of really impeachable stuff. Um, it goes well beyond Ukraine. Um, I mean, I've been pushing for his impeachment back since the release of the Mueller report. And actually, I have this really vague memory of getting dressed up as a Christmas elf and going around and passing out letters demanding his impeachment a year ago, which is even before the Mueller report came out. Um, it's been a journey. Um, but anyhow, I wanted to report it because uh, so far I'm about a third of the way through my latest tradition. Um, today, I'm going around Congress dropping off this letter, basically saying, enough is enough, we have to impeach him. This isn't about partisanship, this is about patriotism, and it's about national security. Um, and for, for those congressmen who have really great holiday displays, I've been passing out some of these bumper stickers, it's kind of been fun. Um, and uh, I also wanted to take a moment and reflect on some of the things that have happened during the course of the past year. Um, for starters, uh, just a few minutes ago, as I was walking around, I walked into a Republican office, and the woman behind the desk looked up at me, and I handed her a couple letters, basically calling for the president's impeachment, and she looks at me and she blinks, and she just goes, thank you, Santa. And I don't, I don't think she realized what I was handing her, but, um, you know, it was, uh, to be called Santa is, is, um, it was, it was a nice little moment. Um, in fact, I will say, as I've been going around these hallways, um, everybody in all the offices, Democrat, Republican, you name it, everyone has been super nice. Um, and the holiday spirit, uh, here in the halls of Congress is just, it's amazing. The decorations are fantastic. Um, even on today, they were impeaching the president, which is a, a, a tragic, you know, this is, this is not something that we as American people should be celebrating. Um, but, but, I mean, I, 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 I kind of agree with those who have said that, that we have no other choice. The whole reason I started Americans for Impeachment, um, and before that, the presidential impeachment protest, when there wasn't actually an impeachment going on yet. All of this I've done not because I'm a partisan, but because I'm an attorney, because I read the Mueller report, because I follow this stuff, and these are weird times. Um, but my conscience has guided me to following this path, um, and I think with really good reason. Um, but going on, reflecting on some other moments, as I was driving home from work last night, I realized that on Halloween this year, um, you know, this journey took me to a place where I was dressed up as Jesus, I was wearing the infinity gauntlet on my left hand, and right as the House of Representatives voted on H.R. 660, which was the, uh, it was the bill that basically established the rules for the impeachment proceedings, um, I snapped my fingers. Now, I, I, I did not even realize, um, kind of the, the artistic element of Jesus wearing the infinity gauntlet, standing in front of the White House, snapping his fingers at exactly that moment. 
but I gotta tell you, as far as, um, I mean, I, I couldn't have made that up. That just happened because I, I, I was dressed up uh, as an angel or as Jesus for, for a Halloween party, and I just happened to have the Infinity Gauntlet in my backpack, and it just, all the, all the pieces fell together the way they did. Um, but, uh, you know, there was another day where I was dressed up as, you know, I'm not going to mention any copyrighted names here, but I'm just going to say a Nordic demigod. Um, and, you know, was jumping up and down, holding signs that said Trump is unworthy. Impeach! Um, you know, I might be an attorney, and I might be a pastor, but more than anything else, I'm an American citizen. And I think, reflecting on that, that's what's taking me down this, this really fun and artistic um, activist adventure. Um, and I guess, I guess if there are any final thoughts that I have on this day at this time, it's, uh, I'd like to say to, to all the Republicans that are out there, um, the time has come for you guys to reclaim your party. Uh, the Republican Party used to be a party of conscience, um, filled with intelligence and men and women of goodwill. Um, but the partisanship, it, it's gotten to a point where we have a president who we now know, um, the Russian government, uh, you know, they interfered in the 2016 election, um, not just to mess with our heads, but to, to mess with the election and to, to get Trump elected. Um, I was going through some of my notes last night, and I stumbled upon something, um, which was, a, I, th I think it was a Washington Post article from September 2016. Um, or, sorry, it wasn't from September 16. It was referring to a meeting, a briefing that took place in September 2016, where Mitch McConnell, was briefed on Russia's efforts to interfere in the American election. And um, President Obama and Vice President Biden um, wanted there to be a bipartisan statement saying, Russia is doing this, we cannot let this happen. And Mitch McConnell was the one who said, no, if you tell the American people the truth, if you make that information public, we will claim partisanship. Well, I don't, I don't know whether Russia was successful. Um, I don't know if uh, they're pulling Trump strings or if they just messed with our election to mess with our heads. I, I really, I don't know. But the possibility, the possibility really scares me. And um, this is a situation where I think the American people really need to consider the possibility that Russia was successful. Um, and I, I, I never would have expected to say something like that. I never would have expected us to be in a situation where the Senate Majority Leader would um, make sure that the American people did not know that Russia, America's greatest adversary, or at least who used to be our greatest adversary, I would argue that this whole situation proves that in many ways they still are, um, could hijack America's political structure, could hijack the upper echelons of the Republican Party. Now, I'm not, I'm not trying to start any conspiracy theories, but I'm sitting here connecting the dots, and I'm running out of alternative explanations. Um, so to all the Republicans out there, I say please, this holiday season, listen to your conscience, pray, read the Federalist Papers, do whatever needs to be done, but now is the time to let go of partisans, and now is the time for patriotism, and that's the message that I would like to send out, not just to the Republicans, but to every member of Congress. This is a moment where country comes first. Um, I hope. I pray that today goes well, and I hope and pray that in the weeks to come, the Republicans in the Senate 
have a moment of truth. And that in this moment of truth, there might need to be, it might be an uncomfortable moment of truth, but this moment of truth, I believe, is key, is necessary to saving not just America from a national security perspective, but the Republican Party from an integrity perspective. Um, so, those are all my thoughts. Um, my final thought? Oh, actually, better yet. I got this thing for fortune cookies. I love them. Um, and so, I figured I'd, I'd bring a few along today and open them up at different points in, in my journey. Um, the one that I opened up when I started my journey this morning said, happiness always accompanies you. I got another one here, and I'm just gonna, the vote hasn't taken place yet, so let's cross the fingers and see what this one says. Fortune cookies on me. That's weird. Um, all right, well, I'll go to distribute few more of these letters, a few more of the Trump you're fired bumper stickers, and uh, we got a few more fortune cookies to go, so let's see where the day goes.